Hello! In today's video, I will show you how to do the pot till distillation process on the steel column. We use the pot still method to obtain fruit or flavor distillates such as whiskey, rum, gin, brandy, and Calvados. You can find most of the recipes on my channel. Let's start! Before we start, remember that distilling alcohol is illegal in most countries. You can easily produce beer, wine or cider. Let's get back to the pot still distillation. Pure the mesh that we will distill into the boiler. In my case, it is the gin mesh made from store vodka macerated with spices. The recipe for such a gin can be found on my channel. I leave the link in the description under the video. All the accessories I used in the video will also be linked in the description. Always pay attention how much of wash do you have to distill. For proper operation, the heaters must be flooded with liquid. So in this case, first pure water into the boiler until the lower heater is submerged under water. We must remember that during the distillation, all the alcohol and some of the water will evaporate from the boiler and the bottom heater must be immersed in the liquid during the entire process. It is generally accepted that the strength of the wash you want to distill should not exceed 20%. When distilling grain meshes or fruit washes, the strength usually is under 20%. In this case, however, we are distilling alcohol with a strength of 40%, so it should be diluted. The strength of the wash is very important during the second distillation, where the obtained alcohol must be divided into fractions. The next step is to turn on the heater in the distiller and connect all the elements. We supply water to the radiator to check for any leaks. If no leaks are found, the water can be turned off for now. We turn it on again when the temperature in the boiler exceeds 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. Before the steel reaches the right temperature, we have a moment for some theory. The Thor column that I have can be used to obtain alcohol with a strength of 96%, then we receive pure alcohol through the OVM valve, which means lower vapor management. Or we can obtain flavored distillates on it through the LM valve, which means liquid management. When the LM valve is open to the maximum, then the column works the same way as a simple distiller. Pot still distilling operation is based on the thermometer in the column or in the boiler. In the pot still mode, we don't need to stabilize the column and the LM valve is open to the maximum from the beginning of the process. The filling of the column can be left because it will not be a problem when working with zero reflux. The filling of the column should only be removed when distilling highly foaming meshes. In the pot still distillation mode, the percentage of the obtained product decrease non-linearly, until the alcohol in the boiler runs out. The steel will then begin to distill the water. At the beginning, we start to receive alcohol with the strength exceeding 80%, while at the end, the strength of the alcohol received will be zero. We will come back to the rest of the theory later. Now, let's move on to our distiller. The temperature in the boiler is about 76 degrees Celsius, and as we can see in the video, we start to receive alcohol. The alcohol strength received is currently 85%. Screw down the heaters so that the temperature in the boiler and on the column slowly and steadily increases. During the first distillation, we do not divide the alcohol into fractions. Our goal is to collect all the alcohol, which will be divided into individual fractions during the second distillation. We regulate the amount of the water that is supplied to the cooler, so that the water that flows out from the cooler is not so warm and the best when it's cold. To better control the temperatures in the boiler and on the column, I recommend saving the current temperature measurements every 30 minutes. On the left, you can see the temperatures in the column, and on the right, there is the temperatures in the boiler. As we can see, temperatures slowly and steadily increase over time. We can then easily see if the temperature rises correctly during the entire process and if they doesn't drop. 
During the first distillation, all we have to do is control the temperature in the boiler or on the column, the speed and temperature of the water in the cooler, and the strength of the received alcohol. When we set everything as it should be, the whole operation is practically maintenance free. We collect the alcohol until the current alcohol strength drops to zero. Remember that the alcohol strength is measured for the sample whose temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. This is the end of the first part of the video about pot steel distillation on the column steel. In the second part we will divide the alcohol into fractions. If you like the video, leave the thumbs up and a comment. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel.